Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. So, Lamb of God has a new music video out. I believe it's a single for the new album. They're one of my favorite bands ever. It's like a huge event for me, so I thought I'd turn the camera on. We could check it out together. Let's jump into it. Leaving civilian zone. All right. Yo, know, Lamb of God has always been kind of political, so I'm interested to see what they're going to talk about this time. Alright, dissonance, let's go. Classic for Lamb of God riffage, let's go. So groovy, man. This is classic Lamb of God. I love Willie Adler's Eclipse, man. H1 with his H pickups. I gotta say, the, um... This doesn't seem like 1080p. It's oddly blurry. Gandalf on base. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of um, the uh, the Airborne video, Run and Wild, where they have um, Lemmy as the truck driver, but they're rocking out in a truck, basically. Oh, what's he scared of, though? Yeah, you can choke on it. I mean... Yeah, I feel like this is both fresh and I've heard this song before. You know what I mean? Like, this could have easily been on the last album or the album before that. Still though, I mean, I love this shit, so I'm not really complaining. I'm just saying that this is an extension. Like, this is part three of like a three-part album sequence. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna let this guy shred. <laughs> Go on, Mark. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I love this band. It's like screamy, but it's catchy at the same time. I fucking love Lemon God, dude. Yes! Oh, 
A little Marvel uh, post credit scene here. Oh no. Got fucking morbed, which is a term that my younger brother taught me this weekend that I've been overusing. Okay, okay, so what can you really say, man? I mean, that is classic Lamb of God. As I mentioned, uh, this kind of feels like a natural continuation of where they've been at for the last couple albums. Like, this song could have easily fit on Sturm and Drang, self-titled, even Resolution, maybe? Okay, maybe not Resolution as much, but definitely self-titled. And listen, I'm not saying they're like the ACDC of groove metal. Yet. But even if they were, is that a huge compliment? What I'm saying is they have a very distinct style, even if they add new elements, like the uh, clean singing on the second verse. They've done that before, but not often. They have a formula that really works. You hear that for the first time, and you're like, that is nobody else besides Lamb of God. And you know what? I'm a huge fan of that style, so I will take it. As far as guitar work, excellent as always. So groovy with the chug work and all the horizontal fretboard movement. Randy Blythe, still one of the best vocalists in the game. So powerful, so dynamic too. Like when he tells you to choke on it, you fucking feel that. Yeah, I mean, Lamb of God is the band that got me into screamy music. Pretty funny, I actually play Lamb of God when Frida is inconsolable and Randy's vocals confuse her just long enough for me to change a diaper, get a bottle heated up. I'm not gonna talk about the lyrics at all because talking politics is a surefire way to torpedo the shit out of your guitar channel. But I really appreciate how Lamb of God, much like Sabbath back in the day, isn't afraid to use their platform to talk about real things that really matter to them. Shows balls and that is where I'm going to leave that. Mark Morton solo, I'd always forget how he's secretly kind of an amazing shredder. He doesn't throw into every song, which is great because that means every time it's surprising. Drums, that's always been a huge part of Lamb of God songs, of, of groove metal in general, even metal as a whole, realistically. So this is a very obvious point to bring up. Uh, but yeah, super solid here. And I love how the song circles back to that first riff and then goes into halftime. Fuck, it's so heavy. And Lamb of God has always been so good at that. If there's one key songwriting hack you can learn from them, and this goes for metal, for rock, for any genre of music, you can recycle the same riffs, the same musical themes throughout a song. And just by changing up the drum patterns, you can completely change the vibe, make it sound fresh, while at the same time making it feel familiar. And in general, people love repetition in music, and there's a psychological reason for this. It makes the audience feel more like an active participant rather than a passive listener, right? Like if you know what's happening, you can get involved. And so yeah, Lamb of God are masters of let's call it fresh repetition. Using different drum patterns, dropping one guitar, bringing it back in later, things like that. Anyways, the video is a pretty fun one. Band jamming inside the truck, crazy stuff happening outside. Like a mash of that airborne video I was talking about with a Stranger Things twist. And yeah, I just love Lamb of God, man. I'm so pumped for the new album Omens. I'm gonna try to catch them when they come through Atlanta later this year. So yeah, that's about it. This is where I'll throw it to you. What are your thoughts on the new single? And what else should I check out next? I've been really slacking on my new music and you guys have great taste. Let me know. In the meantime, social media, affiliate, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I will see you for the next video.